Hi everyone, welcome to the accumulation data analysis for 22nd of May. In this video, we look at what exactly happened and what the data is telling us. So let's get started. So the first thing, India VIX, it kind of made a hammer kind of a pattern or you can say the hanging man because it is after a uptrend that we are seeing a red hammer being formed. Usually we call it as a hanging man. It's a bearish reversal candlestick pattern because of the long wick that is has on the downside right and a red body so usually we call this as a hanging man chances are the india wicks might cool off that is what it is suggesting right now even today it was down almost two percent which is a good thing right so india wicks cooling down is a sign that the volatility is also reducing usually it is good for the bulls Right? Now looking at the FIDI activity, so what is happening is although they are kind of selling in the equity market but their FNO positions are still quite bullish or let's say they are covering their shorts there right? which is a positive sign because although they are kind of selling in the equity market what they are doing is covering their shorts that means chances are eventually they will start probably cover their shots completely or start building up even a bullish uh, uh, position in the FNO market as well and probably then kind of start buying the equities as well right so as of now although since till yesterday the data kind of showed that maybe they are still selling it but I would not read it as an extremely negative thing because in the FNO market they are kind of covering the shots which is a positive right so looking at the nifty analysis now so the nifty kind of remained flat although one good thing is it kind of close at the day's high right so since it kind of closed at the day's high i would be quite happy with what happened with the nifty so if you look at the data okay if you look at the daily candle also a pretty decent candle that that is this main right it is kind of moving higher although today hardly 0.3 percent up but still it's a decent up move that we saw on nifty coming to the data the data has kind of cooled off a bit probably the dis have not really bought the large caps today right because yesterday's uh, why we saw such a big spike is yesterday although the fis kind of sold 1800 crores the dis actually went out and bought like 3600 crores which kind of made the data look really good probably a little on a lower side that is why the data also is not showing it so the best performing sector today was the fmcg sector which is also making a cup and handle if you look at the chart right so it is actually making a cup and handle pattern which is a very good pattern chart pattern i would say if that is taken out so the neckline if that is taken out at 56000 for the fmcg sector chances are we can go much higher almost let's say 3000 odd points higher that is probably around for 59000 that is almost let's say 5 6 percent rally might come in the fmcg sector if case, in case the pattern is complete and it breaks out so the bank nifty it actually kind of had a uh, bearish candle but today was the expiry so on an expiry day you never know what happens right so a few people can try to sell especially the fis and the dis if they are in the opposite thing then you usually have a uh, huge swings on both the sides so something similar kind of happened you, you can see a pretty long wick at the bottom for the bank nifty today and from there it kind of recovered almost half of that so i would not read much into this probably uh, we can move even higher from the current levels in the coming days so now coming to the mid cap analysis so the mid cap also has kind of made a hanging man pattern which is a bearish one probably it can come back to retest that breakout that we had at 51000 right but the data is actually pointing at something else so the mid cap accumulation continues to remain strong it is very close to what we saw yesterday right hardly two or three uh, points difference from what the accumulation was yesterday so in mid caps the accumulation continues to be very good 
right so chances are the mid cap should continue moving higher maybe a small pullback for two days so today was one uh, bearish candle maybe one more bearish candle and then we continue our uptrend if the data continues to remain strong now coming to the distribution so, so the small and mid cap distribution is also inching up so what i noticed is the mid caps are not being distributed so much the accumulation still continues to be good but many of the small caps are coming in the distribution which is a little worrying sign so like i have been telling you most of you right since last a few videos that the market is becoming stock specific right so it makes sense to be with those names where the accumulation is very good and ride them for that 10 15 percent kind of a swing up move so be stock specific play the ones where the data is good you should be you should do well in the coming days now coming to the small cap analysis so the small cap had a second red day right it closed again 0.4 percent lower today right but the long wick at the bottom kind of tells us that there is buying coming in at the lower levels which is a good sign right now going to the data part so the data although it is on a little lower side today right hardly like 20 point difference from yesterday to today but it is still better than the average that we were seeing for the last many days correct so since it is more than the average i would not really be worried because of this drop that happened in the accumulation i would consider that it is still pretty good accumulation that is happening like above the average accumulation happening in the small cap index so be very stock specific in uh, small caps especially because few stocks are being accumulated few are being distributed right so don't just blindly play any small cap that you want be stock specific and you should make decent money right so net net what i feel is the fis are kind of covering the short so the large caps and the even the nifty and nifty should kind of move higher i feel the mid caps they would be the best trade right now because the accumulation is still quite strong it is above like any trading near the all-time high and it should continue moving higher small caps be stock specific because what is happening is few are getting distributed few are getting accumulated also so in that case it makes sense to play the ones where there is sectoral accumulation also because sectoral accumulation is a big tailwind you make decent money there where the sectoral accumulation is there and also the stocks from those sectors are getting accumulated those would be the best trades that you can take and make decent money hope this helps see you tomorrow after tomorrow's trading session thank you